Hi. Uh, um, I wanted to, I saw your post on the community group and kind of wanted to give you uh, a better way of doing what you're asking. Uh, the first thing is, from what I can understand, you are wanting to enable late submissions and you should know that by default, uh, the lab the um, the lab uh, enable late submissions is turned on by default. But I want to show you a way to get to the global preferences and do this all in one fell swoop, so that you understand how to do that. And I guess one of the things that you know, um, you know, contacting the community group is great, but you should also talk to your rep about maybe uh, getting together with a faculty advisor. And I'm Alan Shapiro. I'm one of the faculty advisors that work for Pearson. And we do the training on this. We also teach on the product, so we know how it works with students. But let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go to any course menu item that happens to have a, count, a com computer with a slash through it. I'm going to click on the icon right here for preferences. This is the global preferences. I'm going to ch choose activity preferences. And what you're going to see here is all the different activities that are possible. Exam, skills-based, training, skills-based simulation, objective. And then what you want to do is click on the preferences uh, or edit on the preferences from that and you're going to see that you can make changes in one spot and it will affect every single um, item that's in your course without you having to go to every single one individually. Then what you want to look at is timing because that's where enable late submissions is found. So you'll notice that it's checked by default but if I wanted just to click apply to all I can do that and I can click OK and it will change all the preferences there. So I'm going to go back into, into the edit here and into timing because I wanted to show you another thing, by the way, which is enable grace period. And so enabling the grace period would reduce the amount of uh, the possible score from the, for the student for a number of hours or a number of days, a certain percentage, and then even up to a maximum of percent, up to 150 percent. So it automatically, so for example, if I chose 15 percent, let's say, um, for every one day, it's late, let's just choose 100, up to 100 percent. If I did that, then uh, if a student turned it in the day after it was late, the student would automatically get 15 points off. So if they got 100 percent, they would get an 85 at the most. And the next day they would lose 30 points and so on and so forth. And again, if I click apply to all, then this setting would then be set to all of those things. And then I would go to the next one. If I have those kinds of you know, settings in there, uh, again, I would go to this next one, again, go under timing. And you can see all the settings that you can do on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save and close. So again, this is the skills-based uh, trainings. So I'm going to go to the skills-based training. I think I have one. So there's the skills-based training. And now I'm going to go to edit on that just to show you that if I go to preferences, you'll notice uh, this is not a skills-based. That's an exam. Sorry. Let's go back. Uh, I'm not sure I have one in here. No, I think I did it on the assessment. I can't even remember what I did it on. Let's look here. Let's go back. Da, 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 da. Activity preferences. Yeah, I did it on there. So let me do it on the training. Me bad. Sorry about that. Uh, and let me go to the timing here. And let me do this just like I showed you. And so you saw it wasn't on there. Now I'll click apply to all. And I'm going to click Save and Close. And now, if I go here, crossing fingers, and go to Preferences, notice that that got set. And that would be set on all of them. So hopefully that helps to understand how quick and easy it actually is. And of course, to set due dates on things, you can just take and drag the, cal you know, drag the whole folder down and click Save, and that sets the due date. So now if the student completes it the day after, you'll have to go into this instructor notifications and then you have to go to pass due submitted and when you click on that you'll see a list of students names and then you can check box and accept or decline those late submissions. Uh, sorry for the long video but I hope that helps you and really again if you want need any more help please contact your sales rep and they'll get you in touch with one of us faculty advisors.